Hi, I'm Eric Morris, and today I'm going to talk about that everyone calls themselves an actor. To, to call yourself an actor, coming to Hollywood, you get off a bus, a train, or an airplane, and you say, I'm an actor. And if you happen to get into one of the unions, SAG, AFTRA, Equity, then you're considered a professional actor. So, let me just say that that doesn't make you an actor. Let's talk about the attrition rate in Hollywood. Usually when an actor, a person comes to Hollywood to make it, stars in their eyes and all kinds of fantasies about having a home in the Hollywood Hills with a swimming pool and a, a seven-figure income. Let me tell you that the attrition rate is incredible. Most people pursuing their career in this town, Hollywood, last no more than two or three years before they go back to Davenport, Iowa or Moline, Illinois. Then they go back very frustrated with their tail between their legs. They curse at the, at the heavens and they blame everybody else for their lack of success. I've been in this business for 64 years. I've been teaching 50 of those 64 years, and I've seen a lot of people come and go, come and go, and they do, mainly because they have no training, they have no commitment, they have no, no form of preparation for being ready to act. So if they do get a shot, and they don't have a craft, and they don't know how to use their instrument, they're gonna fail, you know? What, what, would you become a, a doctor, a lawyer, an architect without any training? I mean, what would you do? Well, you wouldn't go to medical school. You'd go into the nearest hospital and you say, give me an operating room and uh, give me a bunch of scalpels and I'll, I'll check it out. That's what, that, you know, that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But most actors think that way. Give me the script and I'll show them what I can do. A doctor takes four years of college, four years of pre-med, four years of medical school, and then two years of interning before they're really off and running as a doctor. An architect works for years on drafting, art, stre stre stresses, structures, etc. You cannot become an actor with any less training than a doctor or an architect or any other professional, a lawyer who has to be prepared to understand how to go into the courtroom, having prepared his case, his brief, etc. So why do actors, why do actors think all you have to do is come here and say the lines? That's why there's such an attrition rate in Hollywood and in New York and anywhere, and anywhere else where there's a professional venue. 